These are the holy men, whom the Lord chose in his own perfect love. To them he gave eternal glory. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only a begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father, Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of the apostles Philip and James, grant us through their prayers a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received and in which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than five hundred brothers and sisters at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. The message goes out to all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message.
The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and still you do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. We're celebrating today the feast of Saints Philip and James. Uh, Philip, one of the apostles. James, another one of the apostles. Sometimes you hear him called James the Lesser. Poor guy. Um, and he's the author of the letter to James at the end of the New Testament. He was the head of the church in Jerusalem following Jesus' resurrection. And the apostles really are, their life, maybe the best evidence that we have of the truth of the resurrection, that Jesus really rose from the dead, that this isn't a metaphor, this isn't, sometimes people will say this, they, the apostles after the resurrection, they just, they missed Jesus so much that they just had this experience together of imagining him coming back. No. Jesus rose from the dead. And the best evidence that we have of this is that Philip and James and all of the other apostles besides John left Jesus at the moment when he needed them most. Throughout the Gospels, they really try, but they don't always get it. And these people, who were, like all of us, filled with cowardice at different times, and not always able or willing to testify to Jesus throughout his life, whose behavior consistently showed that they were not always able to testify to Jesus, something happened so that these people became courageous witnesses, started spreading throughout the whole world, and spent the rest of their lives, most of them died for this, building churches and preaching the resurrection of Jesus. People don't get that courage out of nowhere. It comes from the resurrection. And for whatever we're facing, this is where our courage has to come from. We stand and we offer our prayers to the Lord. For the church throughout the world, especially for the Pope and all bishops, that they will courageously proclaim the gospel and the truth of the Lord Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for all of us that we will be faithful witnesses to the gospel and be witness makers, drawing new believers and new convert makers to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for those many people throughout the world who do not know the good news of Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection for their light and for God to send them people into their lives who will preach the truth to them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick and suffering 
We pray for those who have died. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those for whom this Mass is offered, for Anna Lambert, and for your own intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our gracious one, King of the Apostles, come to us and send your Holy Spirit into our hearts so that we may, with James and Philip, proclaim the gospel with boldness and joy. We ask this in your name. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast day of the apostles Philip and James, and bestow on us religion pure and undefiled through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. 
For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and to giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saints Philip and James, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation be praised, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be faith to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope. Edward, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. This is graciously the prayers of this family whom we have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are previously with their passing from this life, to find the gift of your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow in the world all that is true. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only to say the word, my soul shall be healed. Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Whoever has seen me, Philip, has seen the Father also. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O Lord, by these holy gifts we have received, so that contemplating you and your Son, together with the Apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks. Thank you for being here and have a good day.